Hi everyone, welcome back to my shop. Let's wait for this goblet to stop moving. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my shop. So, uh, the other day I made this goblet. And there's a part here I didn't really like. I wasn't very content from it. And I'm talking about this little part here. Let me... Okay, so there's this part here. Originally I wasn't sure these arms are going to be strong enough to hold the cup part uh, above uh, the stem itself so I made this part here in case that the arms would flex and it will have to be uh, propped against the base over here but since uh, I can see plainly that it sits perfectly well and in the air as you can see let me show you that there's a gap here and there's absolutely no problem uh, I think I'm going to rechuck this piece here uh, using a gem chuck and I'm going to turn this part away so it will float completely above the base of the cup so that's the first thing we're going to do today I'm going to create a gem chuck and I'm going to chuck this part in the gem chuck and we're going to turn this part away and uh, we'll see the new and improved goblet how can we improve it even more So another small update is that uh, a friend of mine, uh, Wayne Clasper, uh, he also has a YouTube channel you can check out down below at the video description uh, his channel and uh, he noticed that my uh, smallest cup that I've made, the goblet, here it is, I'll try to uh, grab it, okay, so the, this uh, small uh, goblet might get lost uh, somewhere in the house. So he was uh, generous enough to turn a small box for me to put the goblet in. So let me see if I can... Yeah, I don't think my camera... Oh, yeah, got it. 
so he was generous enough to turn this little box for me to put my goblet in so if you don't mind just a second I'll try and grab this I don't know why I'm saying the word grab in such a Transylvanian accent so here's the goblet let's see if I can oh and it's in there you probably can't see it let me see if I can bring in the light a little bit closer and yeah you can see it in there yeah, just a, there we go so the goblet is in the small box just in case it will get lost let me put the lid on there we go so thank you oh also yeah i forgot to mention that since he noticed that uh, this box was uh, quite small uh, then he asked me uh, if uh, I could uh, actually use a bigger box to put the small box inside. So uh, obviously he turned me, he uh, turned for me this uh, a little bigger box to put the smaller box inside. And again, if you want to see how he turned these boxes, really lovely boxes, then you can check out his channel. And uh, then he said, just in case this will uh, get lost between the kids toys and everything so he turned a, a, a little bit larger box for me to put this box in then there we go and that's it so that way my goblet will never get lost let me take this out of the way uh, and I will have it, always have it handy inside of my box so check out uh, Wayne's uh, channel uh, again you can find it in the description below uh, where you can see how he turned these really lovely boxes. So I'm going to put a new sticker on the wall. This sticker is uh, from uh, Gord Rock. You can check his channel in the video description. Uh, if you don't know Gord, he has amazing videos, very, very detailed. Uh, you're not going to see a two, three minute video with just the highlights. He's going to show you the entire process and he's going to do it wonderfully and everything will be uh, perfectly explained. So I highly, I highly recommend Gord's uh, channel for any beginner, any advanced turner. I learn something new from every video uh, Gord is making. So check those out. The next sticker is from a friend, Carlo Westerhoff. He has a YouTube channel, not woodworking channel. Uh, it's a video game channel uh, you know one of those uh, channels all the kids like to watch and uh, uh, participate in you can check out the channel link in the video description as always uh, the channel the channel name is Dutch Viking Dutch Viking so check it out I want to thank you for joining me in my shop for this follow-up and I hope to see you back in my shop really soon.